I'm not a huge fan of the tattoo. <laughs> and as I said, I, I know it's almost a cliche, you know, the pastor gets a, gets a tattoo. Hi, I'm John Dixon and uh, these are my tattoos. <laughs> so my journey to get a, get a tattoo was really 15 years long. But uh, this is a Coptic cross and uh, I've always wanted a Coptic cross uh, ever since my guide in uh, Cairo years ago for the filming of The Christ Files uh, showed me the way Christians in Egypt have a cross tattooed from infancy. And I was just so compelled by this young man who was a faithful believer in Christ. And he, he told me how uh, parents would want to do this so that the child would never be able to deny that they're a Christian because it's tattooed on, which seems a bit full on to me. But as I've watched the Coptic Christians over the last 10 years uh, suffer more and more in Egypt, I just felt an affinity with them and thought, I want to get a Coptic cross. Uh, and I actually said to Michael, my guide, hey, could I, could I get a, cro a cross done here? And he was like, oh, I don't want you doing it in Cairo. I, I don't want to be responsible for killing you. Are you getting septicemia or something? Uh, and so I went, oh, okay. Uh, and then, so uh, got on with my life. And, uh, but never, never lost this sense that I, I want to do that. I want, to, I want that mark of identification. So I rang a Coptic uh, priest and said, you, you know, would it be okay if I, if I got a cross, a Coptic cross? Uh, or is that, you know, treading on someone's toes? And he said, no, that'd be fantastic, thank you. And it, it wasn't uh, until uh, just a few years ago that I got over my uh, awkwardness about the cliche of the pastor with the cross and uh, just decided to, to go and do it. On the other one is the word uh, cross. Uh, which if you've learnt some um, baby Greek, you'll, you'll think, hang on, that doesn't look like the word stauros, uh, the ancient Greek word for cross, but it is, but it's a very special form of the word cross. Uh, th this is uh, the way the word cross appears in our earliest manuscript of the Gospels, and in particular in Luke 14, 27, in what's called Papyrus 75, one of the earliest manuscripts, probably the earliest manuscript of Luke's Gospel that we have. Uh, and in Luke 14, 27, where Jesus says, um, to be my disciple, you have to take up your cross, the scribe wrote the word cross, but then drew the T and the R in Greek, stauros, over each other to form a man on a cross, and then drew a line across it and nice and scratchy, just like this, to say this is a super special word, the cross is super special. And I've known about this, what's called staurogram, for years, but I thought that would be just a nice reminder of the centrality of the cross. I mean, this in the end is the oldest, most ancient image Christians ever used. So it predates, you know, sort of Christian art. In our early manuscripts, they said the cross is a special word we, it can actually depict Jesus on a cross and draw a line across it. So I just went to a local, pretty famous tattooist in Sydney and uh, told them the story uh, of the Coptic cross and had a great conversation with her about Christian suffering in different parts of the world because she could hardly get her head around that there are Christians who are suffering for their faith because she sort of had in her head that Christians are the privileged Westerners. So that was lovely. And then I got to tell her all about the oldest manuscripts of Luke's Gospel and I showed her through the picture of the manuscript and told her, you know, how good our evidence for Jesus is as she's, you know, slowly <laughs> burrowing into my wrist. Uh, it, was, it was more painful than I thought, but I'm, I'm still thrilled that I did. So it's a bit nerdy, I guess. But it also gets me into loads of conversations with people who say, oh, what's that? And, uh, and you know, depending on how full on I think I can be, uh, I might just say, oh, it's the ancient Greek word cross, exactly as it appears in the oldest manuscript of Luke's gospel. Uh, that's my 20 second version. Uh, the 90 second version, which I won't give you, is more along, you know, why it's so important. And can you see uh, Jesus on a cross there? Because that's the T and the R drawn over each other. I mean, for me, uh, the cross is the centre of the faith. And so I can't imagine a more important uh, mark uh, that is permanent. 
And uh, so, you know, God willing, I will always be a servant of the cross. I will always take up my cross and follow Jesus. Uh, so it just seems um, like a lovely permanent reminder that isn't too in your face, uh, but it's there for me more than for anyone else even though I kind of like it when people see it and ask me about it because I get to say stuff about the cross.